Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architects How To. My name is Andy and in this How To I will discuss how we set up currency conversion in Hyperion Financial Management. To set up currency conversion, we first need to set up the metadata for the application. If you look at the parts of the metadata file, we first see we, the app settings section of it, where we need to define the default currency to be used in the application, as well as we select two members for the account dimension that will hold the default rate for the balance accounts and the default rate for the flow accounts. We then create the currencies themselves that will be used in the application as well as in the entity dimension section we have to assign a default currency to each of the entities in the application lastly in the account dimension section we define the members that will hold the rates for the balance in the flow account and the account type for these members should be currency rate let us now see how we can load currency rates to the application in this example I'm going to be using a data file to load the rates to the application and if you look at the screenshot of the data file on the right, you see the POV that's been set up. Now for the scenario, year, period and view, we pick the members that apply to which our rates apply in the application. And then if we pick none for the entity, the rates that are being loaded will be the default currency rate for the entire application. You can however override the default currency rate by picking your entity that you need. The next dimension is the value dimension which will be picked as none then we specify the account which will hold the rate in this case average rate and spot rate for, for ICP or intercompany partner we pick ICP none then we mention the source currency and the target currency or the destination currency as the custom 1 and custom 2 members and for custom 3 and 4 we choose none and then of course we mention the rate itself to load the currency rates we load it as just a just like we load any other data file in the application the load data task section we can choose to scan the file before we load or, and then we load the file to the application once we load the, the currency rates to the application let us see how we can translate the data to the destination currency I have opened a data grid which shows the data that was previously loaded to the application now this data was loaded into USD only and I need to convert it into Canadian dollars so I right click on the cell of the destination currency and choose translate now I need to do this for each of the currencies in here because the parent in this case the parent entity in this case has a default currency that is the same as the child entity if they were different and I would load this data before I run my consolidations HFM would do this for me automatically now after I have run the translate for each of the entities that needed to be translated my numbers have been now been updated into Canadian dollars as well and if you note all when you run it for each of the entities all accounts of those entities get translated at the same time so this is how you set up and run currency conversion in Hyperion Financial Management thank you for joining and please visit our performance architects how-to channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions